Alright guys, what is going on? It's your boy MP Pair Sources coming at you guys again with Tuesdays with Dean Cho. A different version this time again, just because I had to wait for the World Cup qualifiers to finish to really make a video for it. So we're in the aftermath of one of the worst soccer results in our country's history, especially in recent years. Um, the, the performance that the U.S. men's team showed yesterday was a complete disaster. It was embarrassing. It was pathetic, to say the least. First thing that stands out to me is what is our future? What is our plan? Of course, we have Kristen Pulisic right now, the best player on the U.S. team as of now. Probably going to end up being the greatest U.S. player of all time. But who's going to accompany him in the later years? What are we going to do after Howard leaves? What are we going to do when Dempsey leaves? You know, Altidore, Bradley have a couple of years left. And even then, they haven't been playing up to par in those last couple of years. So are we really going to keep depending on them being eh? And then hopefully that's enough to take us to the World Cup. And if taking us to the World Cup is our biggest goal, why are we even competing? The whole point of competing is to win the World Cup. Smaller teams with little to no history, with little to no economic stability, for them, making it to the World Cup is a huge accomplishment. No disrespect to countries like Panama or Peru, but countries like that that haven't made it to the World Cup in a long time, making it to the World Cup is a reason to celebrate. For us, making it to the World Cup should not be a reason to celebrate. If going to the World Cup is our biggest accomplishment, then we're doing it all wrong. Oh, winning the Gold Cup, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, making the World Cup, yeah, that's good enough. I bet you anything if the US is able to tie it yesterday or Panama doesn't score that goal or Honduras doesn't win and the US qualifies whether it's in third place or whether they go to the playoff no one speaks about it because making it to the World Cup is just what we need if that was it if we would have made it despite the horrible performances we've put no one would have said anything and that's the problem with u.s soccer right now we're so comfortable at the level that we are that we don't want to reach anything different why are we so obsessed with the past where the greatest thing we've done in the past was make it to the quarterfinals in 2002 why because in the past we've made it to the world cup that's our standard no tim howard brad guzon they're done they're done Bring up younger players. You know, it's time for a You know, at this point, maybe missing out on the World Cup was the best thing for us. Maybe this will be a chance for us to start fresh again. Stop calling all these players up. Start fresh. And give these young players minutes. Jordan Morris killed it in the Gold Cup. And he can't even get called up. Dom Dwyer can't get called up. Right? Oh, but we bring Wando, right? Again, love Wando. But he's done. We need to have a plan going forward for the benefit of the team. We have the money. We have the resources. We have it. And it starts from the bottom, man. It starts from when we're young. Right now, the youth leagues are pathetic compared to Europe. They're pathetic. We're rewarding kids for mediocrity. Everybody gets a trophy. Everyone's fine. We play for fun. No. No. We can't do that if we want to move forward. If this isn't a wake-up call for the entire federation, for the entire team, for the whole training staff, for for the players, then I don't know what is. All right, guys, so that was today's episode of Tuesdays with Teen Show. Just disappointing from the U.S., to say the least, just from start to finish. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom, tell your sister, and tell your uncle, tell your grandparents. Tell your coach, you know, tell everyone, spread the word out. And, you know, as, as always, be on the lookout for a new video coming out every Tuesday. All right, so if you guys have a topic you guys want me to talk about, if you guys have anything to add to, to my video, if you guys, you know, disagree for some reason, you know, always feel free to contact me. Just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you, right? Um, but that's it for this week, guys. And be on the lookout next week for a new video. We'll see you guys next week.